Once you start a session, you will be able to see the students that are logged in to their Chromebook. As you can see here, I only have one student logged in. To be able to view that student's information, I'm going to click on the link so that I can view what they have opened. On the right hand side, I can see everything that the student has opened. If the student goes to a different website, it will show up on my screen. This happens fairly quickly within a couple of seconds. It'll switch around to whatever the student is looking at. If a student has something open that they should not, such as this games online, I can close that tab and it closes on the student's account. I can also push out a new tab to my students. So if I want them to go to a specific website, I can paste it in through the open new tab. Let me demonstrate on how that works. I'm going to copy this website and I'm going to paste it into my open new tab. The next thing you're going to see is when I open it, it's going to open on my students page. So it takes precedence over anything that they have opened. I can lock my students devices down. So if I need to get their attention, I can choose to lock device and then choose lock screen. And this will lock their screen so that they will not be able to see anything. On the student's account, it'll say browsing disabled, but as you can see on my account, it'll show to unlock. I'm going to select unlock, and now my student has access to their information again. If I need to, I can choose screenshot. This will take a picture of the student's screen and save it for me automatically. In addition to being able to close out a websites on the right hand side, I can also turn on the chat feature where I can chat with a student specifically. And I can also have resources and see what resources that uh, my students have used as well. This all applies the same for the entire class as well. So if I close this out and if I wanted to monitor all my students, I would select the checkbox right here to select all my students. And you'll notice not all of them have check marks, but that's because I only have one student logged in right now. If I had more than one student, it would they would all have this little check mark like you see on the student demo. If I want to have specific students monitored or to do specific things to certain students, I can just simply click the class, the students that I want. And then on the bottom, you'll see a blue box come up. And I can do the same thing I did with the individual student to all of these students at the same time. I can open a new tab, lock their device, unlock their device, exclude them from a session, or apply a scene. So if you're working with students and you need multiple scenes applied, you can choose that option as well. So if I choose to apply a scene, you'll see that it's going to open up that scene for students. And you'll also see that I have different groups now. And so it has been already um, set up that way that GoGuardian will create these groups for you. So if you need students on specific pages and, and access to specific scenes, you can split them up within your class. In addition to screen time, I can go to timelines and this is going to monitor everything that my students are accessing as well as the timeline that they're accessing it. Screenshots are going to show any screenshots that I took of my class. And then present a class is something that we do not have enabled, so I'm not going to cover that piece. Go back to screens. And I can also turn on the chat for the entire class so that they can chat back and forth with me. And what that does is turns on this little blue icon on my screen, and it also opens up the conversation piece on the student screen. This is instant, so if I want to turn it on for a little bit, I just simply click to turn it off when I'm done. If I want to turn off my grouping, I can select all my groups by clicking this little icon to the left of the online option, come over to the right to student groups and disable groups. That'll bring everything back to normal. And then if I wanted to apply a scene, I can select the check mark again if I need to, scenes, and then I can push out the biomes website scene to everybody. So a way that you might use scenes is to keep students from going to websites that they don't need to be going to, through, to during an assessment, an assignment, or just a great way to keep them focused on what you're wanting them to do. So that is an overview of how the class looks when students are logged in and how the different options work within GoGuardian during that time.